What's up Stripe Nation, Blake Albertson here with B&B Long Care. We've got Cut and Clean Andy here. Make sure you guys go subscribe, both channels, man. Yeah, dude, so Andy's helped me out today, but I've had this Pro Stance. How long has it been, Andy? Hold on, show, show everyone this. Show everybody how freaking fat I am. <laughs> yeah. All right, Andy, how long have we had these Gravely mowers? I, I demoed one last year. No, 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 how long have I had this 36? Oh. Uh, Cut, four months? Yeah, maybe. About four months. So I've gotten some, let me tell you my predicament You've before we get into hours. this review. Um, what's the hours on it? 13.6. 13.6. So obviously we don't use it a ton, but it's been a little bit of a weird situation because I purchased an Encore and then Gravely's like, oh, we're going to do a demo program with the 36. So now my Encore has a flat tire in my garage and I'm trying to determine what I, I'm going to do because. Fix it. I'll fix it. Oh, we're gonna fix it? Of course you're gonna fix it. All right, anyways. Um, so anyways, we're gonna talk today, show you guys some mowing with the 36. You've seen it in some of my videos, but um, I wanna tell you the pros, cons, and just kind of my thoughts. I'm gonna let Andy use it for this lawn and kind of get his thoughts. But um, honestly, my thoughts have changed that's why I, I give it a couple months before I do a, a review on it. You really have to. You can't just really because, get something, unbox it, and say this is what it is. You have to use it. Well, yeah, but when I first started using it to now, I have a, you're going to find out, but a better opinion about it. More appreciation so, for it. Yeah, I, I like it more now than I, than I did before. So, Andy, uh, start it up. Let's have you go mow the lawn, and, uh, and let's get it. Andy, what were your thoughts? So a lot of you guys know I demoed one of these machines last year for quite a while and I'm demoing one again this year through the Gravely Ambassador program. And I'm gonna start off by telling you the things I don't like about this machine. It's not really this machine, but it's the 36 stand on platform kind of in general. You get a way smaller wheelbase. You couldn't make these any wider. They would stick out farther than 36. So it makes hills a little less attractive for this mower. Uh, one of the other things that always kind of bothered me is the design on the discharge flap. I think this is just a horrible, horrible design. Because if you guys wanted to, and I grabbed this right now, I would burn my hands. The exhaust hits right you know, on it. You, I've never, I have never noticed that. Oh, but yeah. now that you say that, that's yeah. crazy. I don't know how it's not. Feel it, feel dude, it. Dude, it's crazy hot. Yeah, you can hold your hand on there for more than a couple seconds without it burning. That is nuts. Yeah, it's just a bad design. It should just be a flip-up chute. So if I wanted to use this chute, it's still easy to do. Unscrew this wing nut. We'll fast forward this, hopefully. No, we don't fast forward, bro. Unscrew the wing nut, put it in there. Oh, okay. And then your wing nut's gonna go in one of these. Like that's that. fine, we get it. Yeah, yeah, you get it, whatever. See, I don't even think that's necessarily the bad design, but having it right next to the that's, exhaust is the To me, to me it's a bad design, because look how much I've already had to do just to pick the chute on or off. Right. Instead of just being able to kick it up. Right. So, I mean, it's not a big deal at all. I understand all. That, just a yeah. Just a bad idea. Yeah, that's, that does seem kind of silly. What else? What about the cut and, and operation of it? The operation of the Gravely Pro Standards in general, they all pretty much are the same. To me, from the control standpoint, I think they have one of the best setups as far as never having to take my hands off the control. If I'm going and I see something I never saw in the yard, like a dog chain, instantly with the foot, I can lift that up without having to jostle and move. I can just do it all with my foot. The other thing that's cool is on the fly changing of your heights. I don't have to pull a pin. I don't have to do any of that. I can just raise it up a little bit, spin the wheel to four. Now I'm cutting it four. You want to go lower? We're down to three now. 
and it's just all done that fast and that simple. And you also have a hand lever for lifting it if you want that as well. One of the other things that I think is cool about this machine, I don't know a lot of the other 36s, Blake, come on around here. As you can notice, the discharge side of the deck is completely even, okay. 36. On this one, the machine's inset. So this is sticking out a little bit. So even on a 36, you still have a little bit de of deck outside the mower to still be able to trim your lines. I like that. Yeah, so you can still kind of get it out. Because if it was perfectly flush with it, you'd never be able to get close to stuff. So it still okay. gave you that option. All right, let me let me let me tell you my thoughts. What about the cut? What about the cut? What did you think of Man, it? For for this with the smaller motor, I think it actually has a very good cut. It stripes okay, doesn't stripe the best, but to me, it's just a workhorse for properties like this, or even if your 52 went down, you had no mowers, you had this, you'd be able to mow every property with this if you wanted to. Yeah. Might take you just a hair longer, but you can still do it. Yeah. Uh, the cut's good, I think. All right, hold this. Let, let me let me tell you my thoughts. So, you guys know this is my second year working with Gravely. Um, let me just stand on the mower, Andy. My second year working with Gravely. So, I have some experience with the products in general and the mowers specifically the pro stance line last year i had a 52 inch this year i have the 36 and i can tell you andy i like the 36 inch better i think the cut is better the stripes are ridiculous i'll throw up a picture here it's on my instagram at bb long care kc if you guys want to check out my instagram but I'll tell you, I mean, like, I made some ridiculous stripes. Um, cut quality is, I don't know why, Andy, but it's better than what the 52 was. I know exactly what you're talking about with the 52. I went from a 48 Gravely that was having a lot of issues that got fixed, got unfixed, got fixed. And I went to a 52 and I was having the same problem with cut quality. Yeah. But I figured some stuff out with that constant belt tension. Some of the machines from the factory aren't specced for our areas. Some of them are specced a little bit more for the south. So that spring tensioner on it was at 12 inches, needed to be about 14 inches to get me that extra blade tip speed that I needed. Okay. And put those Skag style three inch high lift blades, made a world of difference. So I don't know, it could just be one of those things. Okay. I wish it would come that way, but I shouldn't yeah. have to mess with so something at the same time. For me, somebody that is not that technical, I don't know all that stuff. So I'm telling you how it came, like the way the mower came to me is how I'm gonna judge it. Exactly. That's just the type of person I am. So, you 52, you guys know, I tell, I, I told you the truth. The cut quality was nowhere close to the Skags. This is very comparable, if not better than my Encore cut. And I know a lot of people won't believe that, but I, that is. That's I, one of the things I've always Encore talked about. has the best cut I out think there. I've had that mower since I started my company. I still have my Encore one of the best cuts worst made machine by far really worst made machine i've yeah. always had stuff falling apart rivets breaking just cheaply made yeah. but the cut and the stripe for the walk behind is amazing so the cut is is good on this the speed's good just it, it's it's not that big like it, it i'll tell you i just wanted to get out everybody told me let's just get out of push mow yards altogether small gates things like that I never wanted to do that, but they were still such a burden when I, even with the 30 inch push mowers and even with an Encore, it was like, ah, I gotta get out and the Encore is just extra work. It beats and you to death. When you're so busy and this has taken out any burden on a small lawn, it's like, okay. It, it, it's, it's just another lawn and it's not just a small gate lawn. So let's talk, I, I like that. One of the coolest things that Gravely does in specific, I don't know if anybody else does, is this. Like Andy talked about it as well, but I think this foot pedal design with your height adjustment right here, I don't even use this, Andy. I've never used this. Um, I do on the 52 sometimes, obviously, because the deck's so much heavier. But come show, come show the numbers. That is the easiest height adjustment I've ever seen, dude. And so, basically... And if you guys are wondering why there's two numbers, on the deck, the way it's actually built into the machine, there's two different notch setups on this. So, say you're mowing in the, you know, south and you mow a lot shorter, you can set that mower deck on the other pins and uh, go off that. But right now, we're set on the higher side, so it'd be three and a half compared to two and a half, but that's why those two numbers but are there. But that, 
adjustment is for places that you mow shorter, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that that's probably one of my favorite things about this. This is very similar to the older Skag V-Ride setups and I think a lot of other standards besides like a right stander, which is in the platform along with the new Skag V-Ride 2, the kill switch is in the platform. I still like this design. The reason is, I, and I noticed this on my Skag, I get off, okay, to get a piece of paper might not be something that you're supposed to do, but let's be honest, this is this is the real life. That's what we're gonna do. There's a piece of newspaper right here. Pick it up and get back on the mower, where on those, those platform kill switch, it just shuts off the mower. So, you know, not a huge deal, but I still like this design. Just, just because that's what I started on, so I'm just used to it. Andy, come back, uh, let's see. Um, like I said, I don't really use that anymore, but other than that, I've noticed that these are very like accessible with anything. And so, I mean, look, that's pretty much opened up. Yeah. There's no real covers. There's no screws to deal with. And here's with. the tension spring I was talking about just since we're on right here. Uh, I don't know if on this one you can adjust it as much, but on the, uh, X Factor 2 decks, they have the, uh, constant belt tension. So yeah. you can kind of change that. And there's just a, a some um, schematics for belt design. If you snap a belt, it gives you an idea of how to put all that stuff back together. Which is nice because like I think the majority I've done of the it before, have it on there somewhere. Skag doesn't, I don't think. But oh, it's yeah. pretty I mean, anything like that's just a little nifty. It's not gonna be the reason you don't purchase a mower or something like that. Yeah. Uh so pretty accessible, but other than that, guys, you know I just thought of something else. One of the other things that kind of bugs me, and it's just one of those things, and it seems to be on a lot of the stand on mowers, is not having a fuel depiction dude up literally, here. I but at least i can that. still look through this hole here no i don't look through that hole no i'm just saying i it wish is, I it wish is it was a pain that it's underneath yeah it could, and it could not be right like here right here yeah yep that is exactly what i was gonna say but Andy. i've gotten to the habit of doing that i'll turn this all the way down and i can look through that hole and see how much gas i have so yeah but it's kind of weird yeah it's kind of weird but other than that, that i will say the gravelys are very like well-built machines like yeah. literally they're 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 like tanks man like and that's exactly how i described the the 52 inch is that it's just it's a well-built machine there's something else to talk about we didn't we were talking about you know how easy it is to get to that check this out back plate pops off you can get to all your stuff under here as well say your pto switch came unplugged you're able to get up in here like if you hit a big bounce any of your safety switches come and plug it's easier to dude, get dude and to I'll, it. I'll tell you we're actually filming a video today about how to replace a throttle cable yeah. that would be a, that would be very convenient because you'll notice whenever that video comes out it's very very tough to to get to all the nuts on the v-rides to change out the throttle cables or anything that you need to do too? how many times have you been stuck with that skag the throttle cable no just stuck in the mud, oh, stuck somewhere. A lot. Check uh, this probably out. Probably three, four times a year. You break off. Pull these two pins. Dang. Take this mower wherever I want it to go. Dang. Just as so fast as that. Pull. Hydros just come unlocked that easy. Dang. So when you're stuck and you need to pull it out of somewhere, it's that easy to unhook your hydros and just pull it wherever you need it to go. That is pretty convenient. I've had that on a mower. I don't remember what mower. 52. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it would, have been, it would have been the 52 has the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, because if, if this motor was mower was down and not operable, we could do that and literally push this up back into the trailer, both of us. Yeah. So, another cool design. That is, yeah. That I mean, that's that's pretty much it, man. I mean, well built, good cut. I, I have to say, this is a lot better of a machine, in my opinion, than than I, the experience I had with the 52. The walk behind life it takes a lot more toll out of you it's a bigger fight it's a lot more effort and fatigue but with something like this you're just super relaxed it's real easy to use but it is you know twice if not two and a half times the amount of money you're looking forward to spending so basically for some of you guys you know all of our properties are different you know in different states different areas um so basically a machine like this or a 48 could be your one machine that you have if you if you can only get into one commercial machine but you need something to get into backyards maybe something like this measure your gates maybe it's a 48 inch but having that one machine that can do 
multiple things. Is that what you're saying instead yeah. of having like a walk behind or Exactly, because like if, if my 52 went down and I didn't have this and all I had was my Encore, I'd be depressed to have to go mow the next day. Yeah. Like I have to mow all these with this. And I used to do it, but now it's like, I've become so, I don't even know what you want to call it, adapted or, God, what would you call it? Lazy? Productive? I don't know what the word you want to use is. But I don't Picky. want to go, I don't want it to take steps back. I enjoy using my 52. I can do everything so much faster. And then you're being back to slow down. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm trying to talk about. Anyways, guys, that's that's kind of our thoughts overall. I think it's good mower. Here's another cool thing I didn't mention. Jeez, man. <laughs> for uh, as far as maintenance World's goes, longest review. I know. For as far as maintenance goes, how, for a you know compact stand on, all this stuff is still super easy to get to. Drain plug right here if you want to. You could run a hose to that's it. Pretty or nice. Put something right here. It's, it's easy to use. Because I'll say, even with the skags having it, that hose that drops down below the deck is kind of a pain to get an oil pan under there and things like that. Yeah. Um, you just hook a hose to that. But I'm going to go ahead and cut Andy off from saying anything else because it's the world's longest review. But overall, guys, it's a good machine. Um, yeah, I, I really don't have any major cons about it. N nothing that would deter me away from purchasing this machine. So um, once again, guys, with all mower reviews, we always give the advice of your dealer is everything so if you don't have a gravely dealer do not purchase a gravely if you don't have a skag dealer do not purchase a skag if you don't have an x mark dealer don't you know so on and so forth um that's kind of our wouldn't you agree that's half the buying process for me i am mechanically savvy but i still don't want to work on my machines all the time if something serious happens dealer supports pretty important and and because, parts and parts because through that dealer support you also have contact with the manufacturer through your dealer not everyone can just call skag and they'll be on the line for you but if that dealer is saying there's issues you can get that support that way too yeah so overall guys if you have a dealer if you're interested in it um i don't have any major drawbacks that would deter me away from purchasing it, man i think it's i think it's a i'll give this this 36 definite thumbs up so that's my review. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Cut and Clean Lawn Care, and that's another video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Peace.